Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm working on some little snippet flowers again. I had so much with the last ones that I decided I wanted to make some pink ones. So I have this digital from Doreen's shop, the pink and the white, and her bows, uh, her precious bows. I'm using these and I cut out the tiny ones and I put them in the middle like that. So they're so cute. So I decided that I was going to be decorate, using them to decorate the memory decks. This is the fourth memory decks in the series of the Poochie's Memory Mondays YouTube hop. So if you haven't seen those, please go check it out. Um, but I'm gonna do a little craft with me on how I put this together. So this is a five by seven coin envelope and I glued it shut and then I opened both ends. And what I thought would be cool, I put the memory decks there, right? So it'll stand like this and I never like to put anything straight. But what I was thinking of is you could make a um, ephemera holder memory decks. So how fun would that be? So I grabbed two bags out of my stash and then I thought, okay, let's see. If that goes left, and I want this to go right here, and then this can go that way. And then you can either staple it in or uh, sew it in, stitch it in. And wouldn't that be fun to have these kind of going a little wonky like this? And then it, it acts as an ephemera holder. Cut these bottoms of the bags open right in your memory decks. Holder. So how fun is that? And then I wanted to take the two smallest pieces of the flowers here. So it would be this size, this sm um, second to smallest, and then the smallest. And then I just crunched them up. And actually on this one, um, to make them crunch up, I used a cardstock. So I used the um, printable cardstock that I use from Printworks and that is in my amazon list if you haven't tried that paper i'm super happy with it so this is the cardstock version and so it has a little bit more weight to it and i thought that would be cute right there on the top after i decorate them and that's so cute so that was my idea for this uh, week's memory decks card so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to see here do something like that right let's see maybe I want this over a little more so that will go like that so I'm gonna press that down and then from here so you can staple it in but I think what I'm gonna do I probably would have glued this on after had I realized what I was doing but what this will do is um, yeah I think I'm gonna you could sew it in that would be the easiest but what I'll do is I think I'm going to staple them in. So I have my long arm stapler. Let me grab that. So I have this long arm stapler that I got off of Amazon. That's in my Amazon list too, I think. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let's go ahead and staple this in. And this one right here. So that is stapled in now. Okay. And we're going to cover this on the front so you don't see that. All right. So now we have a little um, ephemera holder type of memory dex card. So let's go ahead and open the bottom of this. And then the bottom. 
bottom of this one. Super fun. So now that's a little pocket and that's a pocket in the envelope. And then you have a pocket here in the front with the memory decks card. Here, here, and here. So fun. All right. So now we can get to creating. And I thought, oh, well, we could decorate some of these, right? And that could be part of your ephemera. How fun would that be? So let's do a couple of these and a couple of these. And this one. We'll do like four bows. And you probably don't have to do that much. And I thought the... Um, The distress oxide worked perfectly for this. Okay, so I have these crystals embellishments by Buttons Galore and More, and I got this from Christina's shop, and she is KG Crafts on Instagram. I'll leave the link below, but I'm going to go ahead and use some E6000, and I'm going to bling this bow up. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe I should just put this directly on there. Put some on there. Put some of the big ones on first. Oh, that's upside down. Big one here. We're just gonna bling this bad boy up. Gonna put the different sizes in there. Put it all over the center part. That'll be fun. Uh, the smaller one in there. Here we go. See how fun that is? Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be fun to do bling out this whole thing? Let's 
we got these tiny ones. How fun is that? All right. So how fun is that little bit of, and the, it's almost like it makes it pink. Let's see. Oh yeah, I just have to clean that little piece of glue up there. How fun. All right, so. That could be a sweet little embellished bow for your embellishment. Um, there you go, look. This will stay out like that. And that can be part of your embellishment on your memory decks. Oh my goodness, how fun. Okay, so we'll do, um, Probably not as dramatic, but let's do some little laces or something like that. Let's see. Could do a little like piece of lace. Let's do something like that in the middle. Right, do this one here and this one here. There we go. Okay, can we see what we're doing? Yeah, my desk is up. So crazy right now. And we'll put this piece on that one. Let's do this on that. Right? Now this is just way too perfectly square. Alright. Alright, let's do that. And I'm going to glue that down. I love this glue gun, guys. I would love to recommend this one. This is, I tried, I started out with the Ad Tech, which is a really nice glue gun. And it has a small tip, but not quite as small as this. And then I tried the We Are Memory Keepers pink one because I had to have a pink glue gun. And I'm hoping that Surebonder decides that they would like to make a pretty pink glue gun. Like this color, same as the We Are Memory Keepers, but the problem with the We Are Memory Keepers is that see right here in this mechanism, it would melt my glue stick and my glue stick would get stuck. And yeah. So I have not had any problem with this Sherbonder one, and this is called Lynn Lily, and it's their special, um, like, edition, and it's this really pretty green and pink. It's a purpley pink or hot pink, but it's still cuter than uh, some of the other glue guns. So I just decided to try that one and I'm super happy with it. Let's put this little guy in here. And let's put this one here. 
just dressing up these little bows. They're so cute. And then you can add like a um, pretty little pearl in the middle. Let's see. What other bits do I have around here? I could have used a flower. That would have been cute. little flower that would be super cute but I'm using fabric so let's stick with that all right what else do I have okay I have some of this pearl trim I think I'm gonna have to use some E6000 on these just to make sure they stay. This needs something different. This little guy in there. That'll be fun. And this one. Let's do this one here. I'm not feeling this. Whoops. All good. All right, let's put this one here. So, yeah. Oh, I also love how it's like um, cordless. So it just sits in this this piece right here. And you just put it right down in there, and then you have a little place for your drips. So cool. I love this glue gun. It's really awesome. All right, so we got that and that's cute. Or we could do like, yeah, do a little paper bow. We'll just do that. A little paper flower, I mean. And then I have my stickles here. I have this one, frosted lace. And I was going to go around the outside of the bow. Wouldn't that be fun? I just didn't want you to sit here and have to watch that. So we will just, I'll do that off camera. So I have a few of these cute little decorated bows. You don't have to do much and it just dresses them up a little bit. And then those can go in your embellishment pocket, right? Those are the sweet little gifts that you can give to your friend. All right, and let's see, we could put maybe this, even this one in here. Sweet as that. Although I was going to put those flowers. So maybe I'll put the flowers on the side, right? Do a few, like two. I don't know if I like that. We'll figure that out. And then we'll fill up the pockets. Let's see, how are we going to decorate the front? We could just. Start decorating it. Yeah, let's go 
go ahead and do that. Tack this on. some kind of a applique on here or something. If I want to use the beige, I kind of want a white one. Just grabbing what I have on my desk here. <laughs> no plan. Okay, go right there. And what else do I have over here? to have that flower there oh my goodness might be a little much but so it's coming together and that cute all right what else do we have here okay let me put or here, this here, and let's see what else we have. I feel like I want to add this guy. Would that be a little ridiculous? I don't think so. Let me start putting some of these down. Scrunch it. Here. Ow. 
That'll give that, hopefully, yep, we didn't glue this. So let's get this guy on better. Okay. And, hmm. Fun this is. All right. So you can even put like um, stuff behind the bows too to kind of decorate them up. All kinds of goodies you can do. All right. Oh, this one I had in this little pocket here. I just love that there and I'm going to put this down because I love it. Okay. So dimensional. And then let's see. This is definitely going to be a dimensional. This is one I'd probably put in a uh, journal it would be more like one that i would use to gift the ephemera to go in whatever they're using okay so let me get some more ephemera and i'll be right back hey guys well i'm back and i totally just finished decorating everything sorry about that i just uh was on a roll and i couldn't stop so at least you got to see like how i de decorated the front and how i put it together so again this is turned out really pretty so i just kind of finished adding a little bit of extra pieces on the side here and then this to close it and right here in the front pocket i had that really really pretty flower with the all the rhinestones on it and then in the pocket i decided to make a little goodie so what i did oh i just pushed it in there we go so i just decorated uh, let's see one of these coffee cozies you know that you can get at starbucks or wherever um, sometimes we get them at church because we have coffee time and so i just decorated with uh with her snippets of love papers and I kind of created it as a floating pocket in a journal. So I put a little paper clip here and this treasured word here. And then inside I just have little bits of her, you know, papers that I cut up and made into little tags and this little journaling card and then this little rosette ruffle embellishment there so these all fit into this little pocket and it's not too too big to or too thick to go into a journal so you can attach that to the page as a floating pocket and I have that here in the front pocket. So this was part of the 5x7 envelope. And then I just have this right here in the front, right behind the memory decks card. And then this opens, and I used Doreen's Pretty Digital right there. And then I added this pocket on this part of the bag. And in the pocket, I just have a couple of journaling spots. I printed her little postcards for like 50%. And then I just added a little 
paper clip there, put it in her little pink crochet pockets. And then in the bag, I have two little scrappy pads that I made with her bows and just snippets of the papers. And I used that lined paper. And I thought these were, you know, soft enough that you can write little journaling notes on. And those go in that pocket. Wouldn't this be a great little gift for your pen pal? <clears throat> I just think it's so fun. And then right here, I put another little pink mini pocket and a pink little mini bow. And I stuffed this full of little goodies. <clears throat> so I cut out her little words and I... I took her words, so these were on the little mini pockets, and I just punched them out so you can add them as little embellishments. This one I made into a little tag, and then, so I just cut up all the mini pockets and used the words throughout. And then here you go, look at that. I made two little pretty tags with that seam binding. And these little goodies tuck right in. Isn't that fun? So fun. All these little goodies can be used in the journal or whatever. Isn't that fun? I just love it. Okay. <laughs> I know. You, I said that a million times. And then here's a couple more of her postcards. And I just inked all this stuff with the spun sugar because it looks so cute. And then I made a couple of couple more tags with a punch and her papers and then I used the little postcards again and then in this pocket these are the bows that we decorated together super fun I love how everything is just peeking out of the pockets and then in the back here, I did another pocket with her little lace pockets. And look how cute. I layered the bows and I used some lace under there to give it some dimension and some cheesecloth in the back. And then in the 5 by 7 pocket, I have another journaling card and another tag with the bow like the bow is on the window so fun and that goes into the five by seven envelope in the back and then on the back I added another crochet doily pocket a little bit of lace and little bits on the side with a tiny little bow and then like you could put your information card or a little another little journaling spot so super fun I had a lot of fun creating this, you guys, and um, so now you know how I put it together, and I just thought it was so fun. It's super dimensional with, you know, what you can put in there. It can pretty much, you can, you know, add quite a bit, and it still is fine. And then it can sit in your memory decks holder, and you can sift through and add little things to your journal. All right, guys. So this is my design team project that was by accident. I had no idea that this was going to be a design team project when I started, but it turned into one and I had so much fun. If you're interested in these bow digitals or the um, little uh, rosette flowers or these little flowers that I made, you can make them too. And I will leave the link to Doreen's shop over on Etsy. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.